Welcome, listeners, to another episode of Real Real Talk. I am your host, Josh Bell, and today we are going to continue our dive into the enchanting world of Wes Anderson. Today, we will be looking at Moonrise Kingdom. So join us as we delve into the film's plot, the aesthetics, the soundtrack, its th- the themes, the cast and crew, shortcomings, and some trivia. It's an exploration you won't want to miss, so let's set sail to the charming island of New Penzance and discover the magic of Moonrise Kingdom. In Moonrise Kingdom, we are transported to the idyllic New Penzance Island in the summer of 1965. The story follows the extraordinary adventures of two young lovers, Sam Shikusky and Susie Bishop. Sam, a khaki scout, and Susie, a precocious young girl, decide to run away together, setting off a whimsical chain of events. Their escape leads to a search party composed of quirky adults, including Susie's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bishop, Scoutmaster Ward, and Police Captain Sharp. As the search unfolds, we witness the blossoming romance between Sam and Susie, which is both touching and heartfelt. While their love story takes center stage, the film also explores themes of youth, rebellion, and the longing for freedom. It's a tale of young hearts defying the norms of their structured world, seeking refuge on a secluded cove which they aptly name Moonrise Kingdom. The plot is layered with elements of innocence, adventure, and the complexities of human relationships, making it a captivating journey through the eyes of young love. The charming narrative, filled with unexpected twists and heartfelt moments, creates a unique and enchanting cinematic experience. Moonrise Kingdom is a visual tapestry that unfolds with meticulous attention to detail. Illustrating Wes Anderson's distinctive aesthetic sensibilities, the film's aesthetics are more than just a backdrop. They are a crucial element of the storytelling, providing a visual language that enhances the narrative. One of the most notable aspects of the film's aesthetics is its color palette. Anderson, who is known for his precise use of color in his films, employs a range of warm, earthy tones that infuse the movie with a sense of nostalgia and timelessness. The khaki uniforms of the khaki scouts and the muted hues of the New England landscape not only create a visually harmonious environment, but also evoke a feeling of a bygone era. This deliberate selection of colors resonates with the film's central themes of youth, innocence, and the passage of time. In Anderson's films, as we've spoken about before, symmetry and meticulous framing are recurring visual motifs, and Moonrise Kingdom is no exception with every shot appearing as though it's been carefully arranged like a diorama. The sense of order and precision in the composition contrasts with the unpredictability and the whimsy of the character's adventures. The deliberate framing adds to the visual charm and reinforces this idea that the world in the film is carefully constructed. The use of miniatures and practical effects is another striking feature for this film's aesthetics. Anderson's team creates intricate sets and detailed miniature props that contribute to this tangible nature of the world. Every prop, from Susie's portable record player to the meticulously designed treehouse, adds depth and character to the story itself. The attention to detail extends to the costumes with the scout uniforms and Susie's vintage dresses serving as more than just clothing. They become extensions of these characters' personalities. The cinematography, overseen by Robert Yeoman, plays a significant role in shaping the film's aesthetics. The camera work, it includes steady tracking shots that smoothly follow the characters through their adventures. The panoramic vistas of the island capture the natural beauty of this New England setting, adding to the film's sense of place and adventure. These visuals immerse the audience in the landscape and the characters' journeys, making the island itself another character in the story. When the aesthetics are viewed collectively, they create a visually captivating world that's both familiar and fantastical. It's a world where even the smallest details matter, and each visual element contributes to the overall charm Moonrise Kingdom is a testament to Wes Anderson's ability to use visuals to tell a story, making it a feast for the eyes 
and a key part of the film's storytelling. The score of Moonrise Kingdom is a delightful auditory companion to the film, elevating the storytelling and enriching the viewing experience. Composed by the great Alexander Desplat, the music in Wes Anderson's creation resonates with the film's unique blend of whimsy and coming-of-age drama. Desplat's score in Moonrise Kingdom mirrors the film's aesthetic charm and evokes a sense of nostalgia. The music is characterized by its use, as usual, of unconventional instruments, this time using things like the accordion, glockenspiel in a children's choir. They imbue the soundtrack with a whimsical and childlike quality. The instrument's choices align with the film's central characters, Sam and Susie, who are on the cusp of adolescence and adventure. The score serves as a musical representation of their youthful exuberance and their dreams of running away together. The recurring use of motifs and light motifs in the score adds depth to the characters and the unfolding narrative. The melody that accompanies Sam and Susie's escapades becomes a musical representation of their young love. And it reappears at crucial moments throughout the film. The musical thread weaves the characters' emotions and the journey together, enhancing our emotional connection to the character's story. This plot score also complements the film's sense of place. Set on the fictional New England island of New Penzance, the music incorporates elements of Americana and folk traditions. The use of acoustic guitars, strings, and woodwinds captures the essence of this idyllic island and its adventures. The score's blend of playfulness and tenderness mirrors the balance between childhood and adulthood, a central theme in the film. While the music is a significant element, it never overwhelms the storytelling. Instead, it serves as a subtle, yet impactful backdrop, enhancing the emotional nuance of the characters and the unfolding events. It underlines the sense of adventure, innocence, and first love that permeate the film. Alexander Desplat's score is beautiful and integral part of the film's charm, capturing that whimsical essence of the characters and their adventures, while adding depth to the emotional narrative complements the film's aesthetic beauty and sense of place, making it an auditory experience that resonates long after the credits roll. It's a musical journey that blends seamlessly with the film's visual storytelling, enriching the overall cinematic package. Moonlight Kingdom is a treasure trove of thematic depth, elegantly woven into its whimsical narrative. This film ventures beyond the picturesque aesthetics and introduces a myriad of thematic elements that resonate with audiences of all ages. At its heart, Moonrise Kingdom is a coming-of-age story. The film portrays the early steps into adolescence as seen through the eyes of Sam and Susie, two 12-year-olds. Their budding romance and the determination to run away together highlight the fleeting nature of childhood innocence. It's a reminder of the simplicity and purity of young love, unburdened by the complexities of adulthood. Sam and Susie's decision to run away is driven by a desire for escapism. They seek adventure and freedom from the constraints of their lives, which feel stifling and imperfect. Their journey is a universal theme, echoing the dream of escaping the mundane and embracing the unknown, a sentiment that resonates with many of us viewers. The film explores themes of isolation, with both Sam and Susie feeling like outsiders in their respective worlds. However, their bond and their experiences on the island emphasize the importance of finding a place where one truly belongs. This theme is reinforced by the Khaki Scouts, a group of young boys who also grapple with issues of identity and camaraderie. And in contrast to the young protagonists, the adults in the film are portrayed as imperfect and often eccentric. Pursuit of Sam and Susie reveals their own vulnerabilities and desires. This juxtaposition of youth and adulthood serves as a commentary on the complexities of growing up and the wisdom that adults sometimes lack. Moonrise Kingdom also showcases the transformative power of art and imagination. 
Susie's love for literature, Sam's artistic skills are integral to the plot. Their shared creation, a series of whimsical watercolors, becomes a symbol of their love and their yearning for a more colorful existence. This theme underscores the importance of creativity and expression as a means of self-discovery. The film conveys a powerful message about love and acceptance. Despite their quirks and differences, Sam and Susie find acceptance in each other's company. Their love story is a testament to the idea that true love is accepting someone for who they are, flaws and all. This theme resonates with both young and adult audiences, reminding us of the universal longing for a connection and understanding. In the island setting of Moonrise Kingdom is not just a backdrop. It represents themes of nature and freedom. The untouched wilderness serves as a metaphor for the character's longing for a life untamed by societal norms. It's a place where they can be themselves without judgment or expectation. The film also touches on themes of loss and memory. The characters grapple with the pain of losing loved ones, and their memories play a significant role in their emotional journeys. This theme underscores the power of nostalgia and the importance of cherishing the past while still embracing the future. Moonrise Kingdom is a cinematic masterpiece that explores the intricate tapestry of youth, adventure, love, and belonging. It's a film that appeals to both the child within us, yearning for adventure and innocence, and the adult who has experienced the complexities of growing up. With its thematic richness, it resonates on a profound level, making it a timeless addition to the world of cinema. Let's take a quick look at the ensemble cast and talented crew behind Moonrise Kingdom that all played integral roles in bringing Wes Anderson's film to life. Starting with the man himself, Wes Anderson's unique storytelling style and meticulous attention to detail are signature elements here. His direction sets the whimsical tone and precise framing that defines the film's aesthetic. The film's young leads, Jared Gilman and Kara Hayward, deserve immense credit for their portrayals of Sam and Susie. Their chemistry and performances are authentic, capturing the essence of youthful innocence and rebellion. They anchor the film with their compelling characters. And then in a departure from his typical tough guy roles, Bruce Willis offers a nuanced performance as Captain Sharp, a lonely and sensitive policeman. His portrayal adds depth to the adult characters in the story. Edward Norton brings his acting prowess to the role of Scoutmaster Ward, balancing humor and heart as he leads the khaki scouts on their mission to find Sam and Susie. As Susie's parents, Bill Murray and Frances McDormand deliver performances that exemplify the quirks and charm of Wes Anderson's characters. Their interactions add layers of humor and poignancy to the film. Tilda Swinton's role as social services is a standout, depicting the bureaucratic forces that threaten Sam and Susie's escape. Her portrayal adds a touch of dark comedy to the narrative. And all the young actors who make up the khaki scouts are noteworthy for their camaraderie and comedic timing. They enhance the film's humor and contribute to its exploration of youth and adventure. Robert D. Yeoman's cinematography is pivotal in capturing the picturesque landscapes of the island and the meticulous framing of scenes. His work complements Wes Anderson's vision, creating this visual masterpiece. Alexander Desplat's score is a whimsical and evocative backdrop that enhances the emotional resonance. His music sets the tone for the characters, adventures, and emotions. The film's production design under Adam Stockhausen's guidance plays a crucial re uh, role in creating this distinct visual rule world of the Moonrise Kingdom. The sets, costume, and props are all meticulously crafted, contributing to the unique aesthetic. The screenplay was co-written by Wes Anderson and Roman Coppola. It's filled with Anderson's signature wit and charm and provides a strong foundation for the film's engaging narrative and characters. Andrew Weissbloom's editing then ensures the film's pacing and flow, allowing this narrative to unfold seamlessly while maintaining Anderson's distinctive look. 
Moonrise Kingdom boasts an ensemble of talented actors and crew that collectively bring Wes Anderson's vision to life. Their contributions from the performances of the cast and to the intricate details crafted by the crew were integral to this film's success. Each member of the cast and crew played a crucial role in making Moonrise Kingdom the film that it is. While Moonlight Kingdom is undoubtedly a beloved Wes Anderson film, it's not without its minor shortcomings. One of the film's potential drawbacks is its niche appeal. Due to his unique style and his precise framing and quirking characters, Wes Anderson's use of dry humor might not resonate with all audiences. Some viewers may find the film's idiosyncrasies and peculiar characters a bit alienating or challenging to connect with. Moonrise Kingdom follows a well-defined narrative and stylistic structure typical of most Anderson films. While the consistency is part of his signature, it can make the film somewhat predictable for those familiar with his body of work. The whimsical tone, the meticulously designed sets, and recurring motifs may leave some viewers wanting more novelty. And although the film's characters are charming and endearing, their development, development remains somewhat limited. While this aligns with Anderson's style of presenting characters as archetypes, some viewers may desire deeper exploration of character arcs and motivations. The character of social services, played by Tilta Swinton, represents a bureaucratic obstacle for the young protagonists. While her role adds dark humor to the story, some might argue that it oversimplifies and caricatures the role of social workers and government agencies. And the film's pacing, though deliberate and part of Anderson's style, may test the patience of viewers looking for more fast-paced narrative. The story unfolds at a leisurely pace, focusing on the, mini the minutia of the characters' lives, which may not be to everyone's taste. It's important that we note these shortcomings. While present, they're relatively minor and subjective. Moonrise Kingdom remains a charming and enchanting film that has captured the hearts of many viewers, earning a place as a beloved entry in Wes Anderson's filmography. These minor issues don't significantly distract from the film's overall appeal and artistic achievement. Moonlight Kingdom has a lot of trivia and interesting behind the scene details that add layers of fascination to this film. The film's story draws inspiration from Wes Anderson's own experiences as a Boy Scout and his fond memories of summer camp. This personal connection to the material shines through in the film's portrayal of Scout life. The film is set on a fictional New England island of New Penzance. While the island is not real, its name is a nod to Penzance, a town in Cornwall, England. The choice of location reflects Anderson's penchant for creating whimsical, fictional settings. Susie and Sam's young love is at the heart of the film, and it's endearingly portrayed. Interestingly, Kara Hayward and Jared Gilman, who played the young couple, shared their first kiss in this film. The performances were so remarkable that they won the Young Hollywood Award for Best On-Screen Couple. The film features an omniscient narrator, voiced by Bob Balaban. Balaban, a frequent collaborator of Anderson, provides an informative and humorous commentary that adds a unique dimension to the storytelling. And during the filming of Moonrise Kingdom on the Rhode Island coast, the crew encountered a real hurricane. Rather than halting production, Wes Anderson decided to incorporate the storm into the film, resulting in some of the most visually striking scenes in the movie. Wes Anderson is also known for his meticulous planning and extensive storyboarding. For this film, he put together a comprehensive notebook filled with sketches, location photos, and character notes to ensure that every detail of the film aligned with his vision. And in the film, each khaki scout wears unique patches on their uniforms. These patches, designed by Anderson himself, represent different achievements and quirks. For example, Sam's patch has a record player on it symbolizing his love for music. 
Sam's binoculars are actually vintage German army binoculars from the 1950s. This attention to detail adds an authentic touch to the film's aesthetics. And these tidbits of trivia not only showcase the dedication and creativity of the cast and crew, but also contribute a layer of charm and add detail that make Moonrise Kingdom a unique and delightful experience. And now as we wind up our episode on Moonrise Kingdom, we've looked at the intricate plot, the captivating aesthetics, the evocative score, the profound themes, the talented cast and crew. It comes to me that Moonrise Kingdom is a masterpiece. Its endearing tale of young love and adventure, coupled with the meticulous artistry of Wes Anderson, creates a film that's both visually stunning and emotionally resonant. We give this film a rating of 9.5 out of 10, and it's safe to say that Moonrise Kingdom is an exceptional addition to our Wes Anderson series. And as we journey through the world of cinema, we invite you to join us on our next stop, where we'll explore the Grand Budapest Hotel, another delightful creation from Wes Anderson's repertoire. And as always, your thoughts and feedback are invaluable to us. You can reach us at therealrealtalk at gmail.com and with any comments, questions, or film suggestions. For the latest updates and insights, you can follow us on Twitter at RealRealTalkPod, on threads and Instagram at RealRealTalk. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, always keep watching, keep loving, and keep those reels rolling.